a local junior roller derby team getting ready for a big tournament this month. So this morning, Ansley Watson is at the Barriga Gym in Marquette to tell us how they're doing that. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning, Vicki. Oh, you know, I'm just hanging out with the North Country Bruisers. This Marquette's very own junior roller derby team. Now at the end of April, they are heading down to Mackinac City for their first ever tournament. So needless to say, they are super, super excited. However, they need a little bit of your help. They need just a few more funds to get down there and to buy a little bit more of equipment. So on Friday, they're hosting a bake sale and a craft sale, but we'll have more details later in the hour. So stay with us. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Ansley. You can always tell when she gets excited. She actually said, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It's be a fun morning. It nice. will be. Welcome back. The North Country Bruisers is a co-ed youth roller derby team. They're heading to their first tournament. So this morning, Ansley is with them to learn more about what they need. So uh, good morning, Ansley. I need to stop. There we go. There we go. <laughs> good morning, Vicki. I was practicing stopping. Look at this is for Tom, our director. I'm wearing a helmet. He said before I left, <laughs> Ansley, make sure you wear a helmet this morning. So I am just for you, Tom. Wait. Oh, I'm not wearing a mouth guard though. Trixie says uh, that's safe. Am I wearing everything else correctly though? Yes. Looks, looks good. Is this looking good? Yeah. This is what you guys will wear. <laughs> you guys are the North Country Bruisers. You're heading to your first tournament at the end of April. Ooh, that's pretty exciting, huh? Yeah. 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 Trixie, have you ever been to a tournament before? No. I know that you've been a part of this group for a couple of years, you said. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys are having a bake sale coming up Friday to raise money for the tournament. What are you guys making? Uh, rice Krispie Treats. You're making Rice Krispie Treats? Earlier, this is Sassy Sam. Sassy Sam brought me some toffee and chocolate. That will be there as well. Glory Sparks, you're their coach. What's going on? Tell me the details of how people can get involved. Well, we've got our skaters. They're really enthusiastic. We've been working hard. It's been a couple years since we got started, and this is going to be our first tournament, so we're really pumped about that. But Tournaments cost money, and so we need a little bit extra funds to get there, pay our tournament fees. And get the jerseys. And get jerseys. Each skater has to have two colored jerseys um, of high contrast colors. So we've got our blue and our green. That's your guys' colors. And of course, juniors grow out of their jerseys rather quickly. <laughs> so we need to make sure we have those. We also have our helmet covers that we just got, and we're really excited to be showing those yeah, off. Yeah, can this we morning. show these off here? Look how cool these things are, and they just slide right over your helmet. Like that, huh? Yeah. So this is our jammer pandy. Our, it has the star. Those are the ones scoring the point. And then we've got our pivot right here, which has the stripe on it. So there's well, what's a, the difference? There's a what strategic is... difference because this is a blocker and this is a jammer. So the <coughs> blocker is the one uh, get, uh, coordinating strategy on the game floor. They also can take the jammer panty and start scoring points if the jammer cannot. So. It's one of those little nuances of roller derby. We're really excited to be part of that and learn all this neat and wonderful rules. And also, we're trying to raise money, so we're going to have the bake sale at Econo at 4 p.m. We're going to be just inside the doors. We've got crafts and baked goods made right here by your bruisers that are trying to get to their first tournament. And so it's in Mackinac City. It's in Mackinac City. They have a wonderful venue there, and so it's going to be wonderful because it's off-season, so there's plenty of hotel space and water fun for the kids during the downtime between the tournament. Mm -hmm. So even if you're just interested in a day drive, it's something really amazing to check check out to see all of these do, uh, derby kids from all over. We've got teams from all over the area, downstate, they're nationally ranked teams. They're playing in a different division. We're going into the open division, so this is because it's our first time. But we will be going up against some area skaters as well as some from um, Pennsylvania. So Ooh. the Woodsy Bells from Pennsylvania. We're really excited to see them too. All right, well later in the hour, I think during the break, we're going to have to skate around a little bit more. You guys are going to have to teach me how to skate well, huh? Yeah. Sound good? Does that yeah. sound good? All right, Yay. sounds good. Stay with us. We'll have more details later in the hour. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right, thank you very much, Ansley. You're doing better than me. I can't even stand up on roller skates, so way to go. <laughs> Marquette's <laughs> junior roller derby team heads to its first tournament in Mackinac City, and the team needs your help. Ansley Watson joins us now to explain more about what they need. Good morning again, Ansley. Good morning, Andrew. I'm surrounded by a bunch of really cool kids. Hey, kids, who are you? I'm who are hungry. you? Hungry. You're the North Country <laughs> Bruisers, and you guys are going to a huge tournament at the end of April downstate. Are you guys so excited? Yeah. Because yeah. I think this is your first bout ever, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let alone being an actual tournament. Glory Sparks is our coach over here. She's helping the kids get their 
How far along have these kids gotten? They've worked so hard to get We've here. We've worked really hard. Our North Country Bruiser started a couple years ago, and it's taken some time to get our skate skills up, and we are ready, and we're really excited to go to our first tournament down in Mackinac City. And in order to get there, we need to get jerseys, two colored jerseys for each skater, as well as our helmet covers and our tournament fees. So we are having a craft and bake sale at Econo Foods this Friday at 4 p.m. to raise some money. We're also doing um, a can drive, so anytime we have practice people are welcome to bring in their recyclables we'd be happy to return them for them and we're just trying to raise as much money as we can so we can pay for our fees I love it well I've actually got this is one of your um, pieces of equipment this is actually called a panty yes correct um, can you help me put on my helmet so I am fully sure. geared up yes uh, this is also the only time I'll probably be able to put a panty on my head appropriately that's so. right well the You'll one thing the, to, the most important <laughs> thing to know is that ours are reversible because if the stars are not showing you're not scoring points oh, really and there's so. two different kinds right Two different pivot. There's, there's pivot and jammer. Jammer mm -hmm. and Trixie, whistling Trixie. You said this is your first time ever of even going down state. Is that correct? Yes. So are you even more excited about that? Yeah. And this is a huge opportunity for you to just travel around with your teammates. Yeah. I've got here some toffee here, and I believe Sassy Sam. Sassy, you want to come on down here with me? You made these, but you're making some more baked goods for the bake sale as well. Do you know what else you're going to be making? Um, no. Not yet, huh? But you and your teammates are going to be making baked goods. You're going to be doing some crafts as well. Yep. So let's repeat one more time. Glory Sparks, if you want to say one more time where the bake sale is taking place and where people can find you. Oh, sure. We're going to be at Econo Foods right inside the door at 4 p.m. this Friday. We've got crafts that the kids are making and bake sale items that the kids are making. And we're really excited about doing that because they are raising their own money to get to the tournament. And the costs cover their jerseys and their tournament fees so we're really excited about that so we have our cheer we're going to do we're going to yell north country bruisers really loud all at one ready on on the count of three one two three north, north country, country bruisers Woo, i love it is there anything else any one of you wants to say metal you just rolled up is there anything you want to say about the tournament coming up you've got to be excited you've been skating i'm just really excited yeah, you guys are doing absolutely great. I know you got, actually taught me how to skate a little bit because I'm no pro, but you guys did very, very well. So I can say I'm proud of you. I'm excited for you all for your tournament at the end of April here, and hopefully the community can come out and support you all as well, okay? Sound good? Yep. All right, guys, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Yee. Reporting live, Marquette Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break.